Excuse me. Go. Hello. Hello. Hey. We're back. We're back. We are back. Oh. Sorry, I was waiting for that You're disgusting taste to leave my mouth. Oh. Yeah. Uh, you bet I was. Oh, no. And, um, so... You guys are in the catacombs. And it looks like your guys' vision is just <clears throat> where I needed it to be. <laughs> and as you all walk in... What? Can I have a wider vision than everyone? Uh, I have I'm sure we have yes a torch. With Harold. Okay. Here, we will do this. Boop. There you go. But, as you all, you all should be able to move your new pieces with all your fun new art. Woo! But, um, as you all walk in, the group of ten, Harold sends in first. And before they, they go off, and you see that they're split off then into groups of five immediately and they like go off as if they had been like instructed where to go and Harold kind of looks back at all of you got a bad vibe about this place try to stick together okay That's it's an nice. order we don't want to be ambushed by whatever's in here so try to be quiet we don't know what's in here okay are the uh, are the bodies from those the former soldiers still around no they took those oh. a while ago Oh, yeah, I could have asked them what they encountered. Where's the reconnaissance? Uh, <laughs> uh, truly. But no, they uh, they didn't really have heads, so. Oh, they, okay. I guess that's fair. Yeah. Oh yeah, they were yeah. burned up. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> and Harold is gonna go off on his, his way. Which way are you guys gonna go? Left. All right, left it is. No, all left. Oh. Right it is. Damn it. Oh, well. Harold, no. Wait, is Harold he, going right? He goes it's his own way. Guys, Harold, should we follow him? him? <laughs> no, no, we're, on, we're with the group that goes left. Where yeah. are the rest oh, of Oh, yeah, them? that's right. Uh, well, it's a good thing one of us was paying attention during that. No, that's, uh, that's left, actually. That... My brain. Anyway, um, so where are the rest of the soldiers that are accompanying us? Uh, they had walked further into the place already, and it looks like they're starting from the back to the front. Uh, Terrell? Those disobedient soldiers left us when they weren't supposed to. No. He only told you guys to stay together. They already mm -hmm. had their orders. <laughs> Yeah, well. Well, let's move on ahead, I guess. Oh, Harold's back. Yeah, he walks back and he's like, "Are you guys just gonna stand there?" What We're did you see, Prince Harold? What do you mean? What did I see? Oh wait, how far can you see? Not that far. Oh, um, so you're blind. Okay, well. <laughs> I am human, Arvo. Always Look. has been. <laughs> <laughs> Look, oh. oh wait, you can't, because you're human. See this hand on <laughs> my token? I'll use it to smack you. <laughs> you thought I was waving? No, I'm afraid of clapping. That's my slapping hand. Anyways, I'm gonna, I'm gonna proceed <laughs> down this hallway. Alright. And you two follow, I assume. Yep. All I'm right, sorry about the terrible with the slapping head they broke me. Here <laughs> right. following up with Batiari. I have, um, these are cantrips, so I can light a light for both Harold and myself. Okay. One for Where me. do you want to place it, man? One for me. One on Harold's sword, so he can see as he holds it aloft. Or actually his shield, you know? He has a shield, right? Yeah. Yeah. Sure, why not? His shield, <laughs> so when he defends himself he can still see and then one on my staff newly okay. minted yeah all right let me see if i can i don't know if you'd be able to move this little thing in thingamajiggy oh i know what i can do doi 
Let me see if I can get you. Uh, oh no, I'm in the wrong spot. He. Believing God, myself. This just pulls up like waitresses and stuff. When I type in staff, I'm gonna lose my mind. Okay. Just good. It didn't. Okay. There's Jesus. That thing's huge. <laughs> um, uh, vision. It does have vision. How much does light give? Twenty foot yeah. radius. An additional dim light for another twenty feet. Okay. <laughs> Ugh. Can Ooh. you not be fucking giant? There we go. And then, uh, details. This can be controlled by my. I'm not Haribo. Get I out feel of here. like you could have just assigned my vision 40 feet, but. Nah, you get a staff now, sir. Hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> and, uh, yep. So. Okay. You now have that. And uh, you guys walk on in. Yeah. To the room go. ahead of you. Okay. Uh, very perceptively, yes. All right. Roll perception as you or investigation if you guys are looking for stuff or well, yeah. if you want to perceive the room first, see if anything kind of comes to your attention. Gonna invest. Gonna perceive and then investigate after the perception. Okay. Well, that sounds right the way you put it. Brutal. Unfortunately, I don't perceive shit. Yeah. <laughs> Very brutal. I'm, I'm still investigating. That, that's okay. I'll perceive shit for you. I will also perceive. Ooh. Harbo, as you're looking around. But I perceived you, higher. You did. You both notice it, but... In theory, you both notice that this is that. a... Yeah, but it's a skill check. Mine's higher. That's all that matters. <laughs> no, no. With skill notice. checks, the number matters. Not the net. The, um... <laughs> you notice that... This is a dining hall. So it's just a small little dining area. For what kind of peoples? Eh, you notice it just seems like a group you notice a lot of them tend to be the stools aren't necessarily taller or wider but you can tell it's a humanoid could i do uh an arcana check yeah Ooh. you do you not see magic one. yeah i was like you you forget I, I, what I, magic I... is <laughs> I accidentally double clicked, so it, it's fine. probably for the first one. Yeah, no, you uh, you do not sense anything in this room. Oh, well, there's no magic here, guys. But yeah, this seems to be a normal dining hall for some sort of humanoid. Okay, I'll enter the room then, and I'll look mm -hmm. around for artifacts. Now I'll investigate, I suppose. Horrible. Yeah. Zabinyar, are you coming? I'm already in this little room. Also, oh, is, you... Okay. Is Harold just standing back, or...? Yeah, he's standing back kind of right now, just like, almost kind of... Just taking like last in. time. Instruct right. Batiari to stay with um, Harold for protection and comes up this way. Yep. And they just kind of stay back. And Miles, in your investigation, you see in some of the cabinets there on this back wall here that, as in this one back here, in this little cabinet area, you realize that there's still some food in here. It's all pretty much powder or molded beyond all belief. You see almost like little trees growing off of it for how molded it is. And um, you realize definitely some sort of elf or human must have lived here based on the foods you're seeing. Yes, because they're so old. I see. Yeah. And Zeminyar, in the room that you walked into, you noticed when you 
walked into this, the first wall right before all, all the beds that you see are caged in. So each there's a cage that is literally just as big as the bed. And as you oh. look in the back of the little cages, essentially, you see a small chamber that has only about one bed wide that has two children's skeletons just holding each other. Oh. <laughs> so, not gonna let Haribo come in this room? <laughs> They're just skeletons. They're not living. He hasn't shared that in the in my head. <laughs> <laughs> They're, they, oh. yeah, it's a gem, yeah. So, can I... Oh. Um, hmm. Can I investigate the, uh... The... Skeletons and see if there's anything interesting, like yeah. near their remains. Yeah, you could do like a medicine check if you want. Are you looking to see like how they died or how they or died? If there's anything they left behind that might be useful, but uh, yeah, the, how they died might also be good if it's not just starvation. Yeah, that's fair. Um, so you are looking at them and you're not able to see any distinguished marks or cuts on the bones. They just kind of died. And there's nothing really next to them. Just the bed. And you look down and you don't see there's any feces or anything either. So you can take a kind of hint or assumption that whatever killed them happened before they even had a chance to use the restroom. I don't know. I feel like this. Uh, if they've decomposed, oh, probably. Yeah. If they've decomposed, I'm sure their feces would have been long gone if there were any. Maybe. That's fair, but but for the sake of plots. <laughs> yeah. Harbor, Haribo. What's in here? What are you looking at? I'm in this little closet that Miles just walked up to. Yeah. Um, I already did my investigation roll, so yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go with it. Doesn't do a whole lot. No, you see some barrels in here, but other than that, nothing. What's in the barrels, Harvo? Can I? I'm gonna go look at the barrels, and I would like to do. Mm. <laughs> mm, yeah. Yes, let's see if we can't. Open the barrels? Are there lids on them? Yeah, so you open them and you just see they're empty. Oh. Okay. And I turn to Miles. There's nothing in these barrels. I'm for bed. And I walk out. <laughs> well. Yeah? Alright then. <laughs> Ziminier, what's down there? Um, well, you see, I, I may have found a couple of dead kids and a bunch of beds with uh, cages. So some sick fuckery is going on around here. Oh. Hey, the, don't beds, go back the beds are in the cages or? Pretty yes. much, yeah. And, um,. How do I put this? Well, it didn't look like the kids died of uh, starvation, but they also didn't die of any weapons, so I'm guessing either poison or, I don't know, magic, I guess. I mean, there are plenty of ways to kill kids, but all right. I'm just saying, from the way that the bones were and the uh, fact that there wasn't... I'll um, go take a look myself. All right. Make sure to lick it to make sure. I mean, bone structure is actually a fine way to identify, like, species and stuff. 